Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little mini haul of Primark shopping. It was the first time that I've been back to, I've been to like Superdrug and I've been to the supermarket to do food shopping, but I haven't been um, shopping shopping. So me and my friend went to Primark today and I picked up a few bits and pieces. I didn't get a few of the things that I wanted to get, which would be more along the lines of like, accessories, pajamas and underwear because they didn't have all the sizings in just because obviously everybody's been there picking up all their bits and pieces but I did get a good few items and um, not a lot of stuff but like a good few items and I just forgot how well priced Primark was so I'm gonna also do some try on clips and insert them in when I'm talking about the pieces and um, I just thought I'd show you what I got. I got my eyebrows and my eyelashes done yesterday so I'm filming this on the 10th so I got them done on the 9th. I got HD brows and LVL lashes and um, the tint on my brows is still like completely fresh which is why they look like quite dark but obviously brows always lighten up because the tint doesn't last forever and I also have a not a scar but a mark on my neck from you'll have seen my video by now if you watch them I bet burnt my neck and my hair last week but yes gonna do this whole video with no makeup on and hopefully try to not look back on the clips and think like Oh my goodness, she should be wearing makeup, but yep, this is me, bare face, but I suppose not quite bare face. Um, I'm so pleased with my lashes especially, I think they look lovely. But yeah, just keep on watching. So the first thing that I got were just two packs of the 120 round cosmetic pads, 100% cotton. So I do have um, reusable cotton pads, which I try to use the most. I don't use baby wipes or anything because they're all bad for the environment and I have reusable cotton pads which I use to take off my makeup or to use cleansers and I've started using toner more recently and the cotton pads that I have at the minute the material of them is too harsh and um, they're too like rough to use on toner so I only put toner on once or twice a day and to be honest I don't do it every day even though I probably should so I've picked these up but I'm just going to try not to use them in excess because I don't like to be super wasteful but yeah these are 50 pence each and you get 240 cotton pads so it's pretty good then i got two packs of sport footies i am just looking at these now and these are actually not mine um these are my friends yeah these are my friends <laughs> these ones are mine i thought i got a second pair but now i'm not sure yes yeah, so i'm actually hoping that she has my pair and i have her pair because i got gray ones and white ones and these those ones are black and they're also size 68 and I wear a shoe size 3 or 4 so they're too big for me but yes I just got these because I need wee socks and I got these three wee scrunchies I was watching Hannah Ferguson's Primark shopping haul and she had said that you could get the scrunchies so I think she got patterned ones these are like almost like chiffon kind of I don't wear scrunchies all that often but they are super cute and I feel like they would dress up like a bun or a ponytail and got three for two pound. Then I got this wee hairband for two pound. I know these aren't like super the rage anymore but I did have a plain black one that went missing and they had loads of ones even beaded and pearled ones but I don't know if I have a big head or what but I definitely find that hair bands can give me a bit of a headache but I just thought we black one super useful probably more useful for when i go back to work and um, i kind of feel like it helps dress up an outfit but yeah just two point and it's a got a wee knot and then i got these wee sandals they've got like a stretchy material crisscross and then a, a back loop which i really like you know so they stay on your feet and i got these in a the size four they're a wide fit i don't like notice any real difference so I just got those for wearing with wee dresses or skirts. Then for clothes, I got a few um, comfy items. So the first one I here got here was just this like kind of powder baby blue crop jumper that says Los Angeles, California. And um, I got this as an X and an extra small. It was five pound. Then I got this red sweatshirt and it says something amazing is about to happen. And it was five pound as well. I got this in a double extra small and it's actually still quite long. And I've just noticed that the arm has ripped. Um, so I think I actually might return that. And I'm not sure if I'll get another one or just return it and leave it, to be honest. Because you'll see in the try on clip, but 
it's longer than it should be for the fact that this says it's for a four to six. My friend told me that if this thing at the bottom is ripped off, it means that it's a return item. And then I'm wondering, is it a return item because the arm was ripped and now they've just resold it with the arm ripped again? Then I picked up this pair of khaki sweatpants. They're skinny fit joggers. They are quite skinny. I got them in an extra small as well. Um, they were five pound two. It's more they have cuffed bottoms and the bottoms you need to like actually get over your feet. But yeah, just again, um, just comfy clothes for kind of wearing over the house. I don't wear sweats and all that that often, but like if I'm gonna have a comfy day, I want to be able to like look in the mirror and not feel as if I'm like a creature of the day. And I picked up this wee swimsuit, which I think is really cute. Um, it was 10 pound and it said, oh, well I've lost the label, but it said something about it being like slimming or something. I'm not really sure how. I got this in, six i maybe could have got it in an eight but i am noticing that these straps are adjustable so i actually think it should be okay and it has like padding here as well um i just think it's really cute and i only have bikinis and a couple of like summer trips and weekends planned and to be honest i don't really want to go in the sea wearing a bikini i think i prefer to wear a swimsuit then i just picked up this little white top that has Kind of like the crocheted like see-through pattern on the sleeves and i think this kind of can be worn either up on the arms kind of a bit of a it, it does sit okay but it's not the nicest style or it can actually be worn as a bardo this is really stretchy and i also got that in a size extra small and it was a size six my last purchase was this pair of mum jeans so they're mum jeans high waist denim co vintage i don't think that these things are actually vintage i got them in a size six it's probably the first time since i've lost weight that i've sized down in a pair of jeans um so they're size six and they were 15 pound i've lost three stone three three and a half stone in total over the last like three years so obviously a lot of clothes that are older don't fit me anymore um so i wanted a new pair of mom jeans they're not quite the same style but they are nice um the legs are quite long, they're rolled up here. I'm not really sure if I could roll them up any further without them bulking too much. But that is everything I got. And I'm just looking, so I five pence for the bag, which is fine. My sweats were five pound. My sweat sweater, sweatshirt was five pound. My scrunchies were two. My twist control. I have no idea what those could be. My twist controls were five pound. My jeans were 15, socks were three, little cotton pads were 50 pence, um, my hairband was two, elastic cross was six, my top was six, my other sweatshirt was five, and the little top was six. Twist control, oh, the twist control, that's a weird thing. Were the shoes five pound, did I mention that? No, the shoes were six pound. I don't think I was charged for my... The elastic cross, oh my God, I'm so sorry, this is awful. The elastic cross was the shoes were six pound. The twist control must have been... I think I was charged for something that I shouldn't have been. Okay, hang on. Okay, I figured it out. So actually I was only charged five pound for my swimsuit when it should have been 10 pound. So everything I got for 58 pound. Now I only should have got one pair of socks because one's my friend, so 55 pound. And I think I'm gonna return the red jumper it's so it, that'll have been 50 pound i spent and i need to get some underwear just because i'm obviously gonna go to primark and pick up some underwear and also some pajamas would be nice and then maybe some like earrings and like rings it was at the primark in abbey center in newton abbey in belfast um, and the range was pretty good and the social distancing was pretty good the only thing is is that the sizing is a bit weird i get a little bit I guess embarrassed about sizing sometimes because I've lost weight. I don't feel like I should fit into the sizes that I fit into, if that makes sense. And it's kind of hard to tell because so many shops have different sizes that you don't really know what is what. So I don't know if the sizing in Primark has been intended to be more inclusive. So I think that it's a small, it's a two, double, 
double extra small or 2XX is 4 to 6, extra small 6 to 8, which would make small 8 to 10, medium 10 to 12, large 12 to 14, extra large 14 to 16, and double extra large 16 to 18. So I don't know, like is that what people think is normal or inclusive or do people think that's not reflective because to me it feels very weird to be shopping in the 2XX and XS, oh my goodness, two, double extra small and extra small section doesn't really feel, I don't feel like I should be shopping in that personally and then there's obviously a lot of people who would be a lot thinner than I am and I don't think that they would necessarily be catered to because I definitely didn't see a triple extra small um, but they did seem to have a good range. I heard once, again not sure if it's true, that um, pre-market stocked on a Wednesday so obviously today is, well today's actually Friday and there wasn't a huge amount of stock but I think I'll go back, I'll go back when I'm returning that stuff and I'll pick up I think like I want to get some like thick gold hoops like you know maybe like that size can you and then um I want to get a pair of pajamas I don't want pajamas that are shorts because they end up being skimpy and I don't like them so I'd like to get a pair of pajamas and maybe some more like sweatshirts if they have them and um, they had a lot of hoodies and all the hoodies were five pound hoodies wouldn't really be my style and also they did have some nice gym gear but again kind of lack of sizing and then also just some like knickers and some more socks. But all in all, I did forget how well priced Primark was and that their like their range is quite good. Very impressed with getting a pair of jeans for 15 pounds. So it is now like five days later, maybe. It's Wednesday the 15th and I went to Primark, I want to say yesterday or two days ago, um, yesterday to return the red jumper that I showed you because it had the hole in it and I just thought like I don't know I'm not gonna wear it but when I then went to Primark obviously I picked up a couple of more items and I mentioned earlier on in the video that I had heard the Primark got their stuff in on a Wednesday so I went on a Tuesday and I went to Tuesday morning the store opened at 10 sorry if you can hear traffic the store opened at 10 and I went at I was there at maybe 5 to 10, there was a significant queue but the store opened at 10 and I was in the shop at like 4 minutes past 10 and um, so and they, they were tracking how many people were in so it was all on like the up and up and um, I can't remember where I started telling that story yes because they had like nothing like I had been in on Friday and then I went in on the following Tuesday and like Still haven't been able to get any underwear. I got a pair of pajamas which I like, but like there wasn't as much stuff as I thought there would be. And like literally no underwear. I, people, I had heard other people say about the sizing. So I was like, well, it must be true because people are saying about the sizing. But like, I've been finding items of clothing from Primark that I bought years ago, mostly underwear. So maybe it's the clothes now match the underwear or something, but I'm finding stuff that is extra small is six to eight which means an x two extra small or two xx would be four to six and that's what it is now so i'm confused to whether they actually have or haven't changed their sizing because i find stuff in my wardrobe that is from Primark that i bought years ago and it seems to match the current sizing but i swear i saw some stuff that said small 10 to 12 and other stuff that said small 8 to 10 in Primark the other day so I'm a bit confused about that but anyway I'll show you the new wee items that I picked up and I've also filled on the try on clips so I'll insert them as per usual so the first item that I picked up was this pair of workout leggings so they're sort of a grey colour and they have panelling in the legs so they have a neon yellow then they have like a bluey green and then I thought this was grey but actually it is kind of translucent mesh and as you can see in the clip, these are super high waisted. So like this band is all like on your tummy. And these I got in a extra small, so a UK six to eight, and they were 10 pound. And actually they feel like quite good quality. I did some squats in them. They come up enough your back 
that like you're not you wouldn't be pulling them up if you were doing squats which is like obviously quite good 10 pound pretty reasonable and they're super super comfortable then i picked up this pink hoodie and on the left breast it says keep smiling i picked this up thinking that it was a like a i don't know what you call these a sweatshirt sweater and it was actually a hoodie i never like just never ever wear hoodies so this was double extra small size four to six and it was seven pound i actually was considering returning it but again like i said the inside is so soft i think the color is gorgeous like i was so excited when i bought it about the color um, and yeah i'm actually just gonna keep it the sizing is weird, I have to admit, because like I have never in my life, like recently started being a six in some stuff, but like never in my life was I a four to six, like ever, ever, ever. And now, to be honest, like you'll see from the clip, like four to six, I could go smaller on those hoodies and like the all the jumpers, sweaters, anything. I've got them all in a double, I don't know what it is, a double extra small or an extra extra small and they're really not that small which and I'm very confident that they don't go any lower than they don't do it. It's a size 2 even a thing like um, so I don't even know if they do any smaller. They're fine, I mean they're not like drowning me but the fact that they're a double extra small I'm like you, these could be smaller like i don't really get it like i said i don't really wear really chilled out clothes all the time but i also don't own a lot of them because i didn't go this is like obviously pre-lockdown and all i didn't really go physically shopping all that often i always got stuff off asos and like jumpers like this just like casual jumpers are minimum like an absolute minimum 10 point if not 15 or 20 point and i can't bring myself to spend 10 or 15 pound on a, like a sweater like a sweatshirt so all these ones from Primark were five pound the hoodie was seven but all of the like jump like sweatshirts were fiver so I'm like yeah that's good so I got this here so it has obviously like that kind of sketch face on it it's kind of like a beigey color again I got this in a double extra small four to six it was five pound super soft on the outside, literal blanket on the inside. I think that picture is kind of cool. And again, like, I don't own all that many comfy clothes. And sometimes, especially like when it comes to like winter time, if you're just like, well, I say winter time, like currently, like if we're just popping to the shop or something, like I only had like, t-shirts or like winter jumpers. So it's nice to have a couple of like nice, comfy items and like I said I picked up a pair of pajamas I would have liked slightly different pajamas I'm not a big big fan of their shorts because I think their shorts are like very very short and I thought that they were very very short when I was wearing like a size 8 or a size 10 I just felt like my butt was out I don't like it so I actually got long trousers and um, so they're this print and they've got a wee drawstring and they are not wide leg bottoms, but just that sort of bottom. And then a matching top. The top is a v-neck. I would have preferred it to not be a v-neck because I don't really like v-necks all that much. I got these in an extra small, six to eight. The length on them is quite long. I definitely could have got a four to six, but like I said, I went on a Tuesday morning and they did not have the stock. Like, some of the stuff was quite cute, some of the pajamas and all, but like, just didn't have the stock at all for it. Like, just didn't have the sizes. And underwear wise, like, I couldn't get knickers. Bit of a melt. I did get those socks that I showed earlier on in the video um, from the first time I went. And actually, those socks are fantastic. So weird, but like, they're really, really good. You know how some socks slip underneath your feet? These don't. It's great. So up again, just another comfy jumper. This I got in a double extra small. It was five pound. It's just literally this plain gray jumper. To be honest, I was going to return this because I don't think it's that nice. I was going to return this, but then I was like, for the sake of five pound, is it worth it? And um, I also am like, if I go to Primark again and I go and they've got more stock, I'm going to spend more money. 
and for money. So I think I might just keep this. It is again so 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 comfortable. I just think it's not all that flattering. And like I said earlier on in the video, like even if I'm sitting in the house not doing anything, like I don't want to look in the mirror and feel like oh like I've dragged myself out of bed, haven't bothered getting dressed. Like I just don't feel productive that way. But this is super comfortable. I'm sure it'll come in very handy. Like even if it's to sleep in on cold nights or to wear like when you're going in the car somewhere to throw over something, like I'm not gonna return it, I'm just gonna keep it. Um, I think it's kind of worthwhile having because up until like lockdown, I think I owned one pair of sweats and I never wore them. And I owned like two hoodies that my boyfriend gave me and my old school labor hoodie. Like I didn't own comfy clothes. And my boyfriend thinks I'm a psycho because I wear jeans all the time. So I'm like, it is actually quite nice to have like comfy clothes to sit about the house in. Like, that aren't pajamas. I get weird about being like pajamas are for sleeping or for bringing a cup of tea in the morning time, and then the rest needs to be designated comfy clothes that aren't normal clothes. Then the last two items that I got were just accessories. I got a belt and I got a multi pack of earrings. So I got this six pack of earrings, which were 1.50. I'm not sure how well the light is picking up, but it goes like silver, gold, silver, gold, silver, gold. So there's three sizes and then two colors. So I really wanted small hoops and I took the this one here like the largest goal and I couldn't get it through the hole in my ear so I put a normal earring in like I don't wear earrings that often I'm not a big big jewelry person like these earrings won't go in my ear so I'm gonna try I'm not gonna return it because I don't think you can return it for hygiene reasons um because I did try and put one in my ear also like it's 1.50 I'm not gonna be so <laughs> and be like I want to return these but like, I don't know if it's me or if it's like, they're those weird ones, I'll show you, hang on. So they're those weird earrings where you almost need to like, distort the shape of them to get them open. Or like, maybe I'm an idiot, but like, I'm, I've had my ears pierced for like 15 years. I know how to put earrings in and that won't, that is not going through, that's not going through my ear. I don't understand. So the final item that I got, which I've literally just taken off, is this bell um, it's sort of like that western sorry that like oh my god that western sort of style of bell and um, I got this I, I really like these I've liked these for ages and um, I also didn't have a silver belt I only had a gold belt I lost my favorite gold belt I have a different one but I did lose my favorite one I got this in a size small which is and it was four point now these are the holes and these are the additional six holes, which I have not all that well drilled into the belt because I needed this much extra to actually get the belt to be like a normal width on me. Now, they're not all that well drilled, but they're also not, like, that's not that noticeable. I don't really care. They're not particularly in a direct line, but like the belt was huge. The belt was far too big. It was four pound. Like I said, they didn't have anything in extra small or two extra small. Like their accessories were cleared out, their underwear was cleared out. So I was just was like, I'm not returning this belt. I'm just gonna drill it. So I literally just drilled it with a drill bit earlier. And I checked and the, what do you call this bit? Clasp goes through. So that's sorted then. I don't, I just figured I would just Keep it like I can make do. I don't need to go and return it. It's a waste of time. So that I think is everything that I got in Primark. So I took two trips. Overall, a bit weird. Don't quite know what's going on with the sizing. Kind of confused. Don't know if it's changed or not changed. Um, the stock was okay. Fair enough. I think a lot of people like I went twice because I was bored. So I think a lot of people are going twice when they're bored because they're bored, and it's very hard to not go to Primark and spend a lot of money so I did get some good stuff I'm actually really pleased like I really like the leggings I really like my new jeans my pajamas are cute very comfy and all of these jumpers are super super comfortable the earrings I think are not a success I'm gonna give them to my sister she has her nose pierced she has a couple of ear piercings and she's brute force ignorance when it comes to earrings where it's like I am like a bit of a card, so I'm gonna give them to her, see what it thinks. The red jumper I thought was a bit too big and had a hole in it. And apart from that, I really enjoyed everything that I got. Um, 
they did have loads of nice bags and stuff oh i love their sandals that i got i'm in love with and um, they had a load of like wee bags and that sort of accessories but i don't need don't need them but yes if you enjoyed my video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching